My knees are a little bit jacked up right now, so I figured it'd be a good idea to show you guys what I'm doing to desensitize them before tomorrow's squat day. So we're going to start out with some kneeling squats, and the first thing you're probably thinking is, thank goodness Seth isn't talking about couch dresses again. And the second thing you're probably thinking is, well, why are your knees jacked up in the first place? You're supposed to be a rehab guy. You're never supposed to hurt. And the thing is, is I make load management mistakes here and there just like the rest of us. And this week, I was a silly little goose and decided to drastically increase the amount of stair mill volume that I'm doing. And it's not that using the stair mill is bad for knees or that stair mills are dangerous or whatever. It's that when I go from about an hour total of stair mill a week to two hours total stair mill a week, it's probably expected, even though I didn't expect it, that something might get a little bit upset. And it's not like it's a huge problem. It's not like I'm not going to be able to squat tomorrow, but... My knees do hurt bad enough and are stiff enough that it is a little bit difficult to get off of the toilet in the mornings. And when I do feel like this, I love kneeling squats because it lets me get into really deep knee flexion, really lengthen the whole patellar complex, and just allows me to move through range, apply a little bit of tension. And as I go through sets of these, the knees start to loosen up a little bit more with every rep. And when I'm doing these, all I'm really thinking about is starting at the top, squeezing my glutes hard, then trying to sit back into glute tension as I'm loading deeper and deeper and deeper down. And once I'm down here, all I'm going to try to do is just relax into stretch, feel a little bit of stretch, feel a little bit of tension. If things are really nasty, you can put something between your calves and your glutes to limit range of motion, like a foam roller or a towel or something. And then the goal will be just to work further and further and further into that stretch as you do more reps. And you should notice that things do start to loosen up. And movement two out of two that I'm going to run for the knees is I'm going to do some front foot elevated ATG split squats. The reason I'm doing an ATG split squat after the kneeling squat is that this is forcing me to control that knee flexion in a little bit closer to the same movement that I will be actually squatting in. It's going to be a little bit of an increase in load through that big range. And the front foot elevation means that it's not going to be loaded insane enough that it actually turns into work because I really don't want to be tuckering myself out the night before squats. I just want to practice accessing that range as I try to not lose my balance and control it so that over time, over reps, it starts to feel less and less spicy, less and less sensitive, and it's kind of getting a little bit smoother at this point. And once one leg smooths out, all you got to do is switch to the other side and keep doing reps until it feels smoother and smoother again. Key points for cueing on these is number one, we're going for as much forward knee travel as we can tolerate, which means we are going to let the heel come up a little bit so we can get more forward knee and really load in that knee as much as possible. And as much as possible is going to depend on how your knees feel and how prepared you are because we don't want to just like force it beyond what we can tolerate, but we do want to get in there in a way that lets us access more and more range as we go. And we're just going to try to get more comfy with accessing that range. Now, if I was worried about hip flexors on this, I would shift intent a little bit more towards trying to extend back hip and then use hip flexors to pull back up. But right now, primary concern is just making sure the knees feel nice and slippy dippy so I'm ready to squat tomorrow. So guys, that is what I got for today. Those are two things that I do regularly if my knees ever do feel clunky and just running a couple rounds, a couple times a day can make a pretty big difference in elevating their preparedness, helping them feel better. But what I also need to do is make sure that I'm not a silly goose with how much stair mill I'm doing next week so that I do not set them off again and that I can gradually add stair mill as the knees start to feel better and better and better with the amount of work that I'm doing. And if you guys are unsure about any of this, drop a comment below and I'll do my best to answer. Or you can hop into the new team activated group on school where there's going to be a bunch of people just like us all trying to get better and help each other get better as well. And if you really want personalized help, hit the link below to book a consult. Peace out. Have a good night.